So I had done Nacho, The Pick of Destiny, King Kong, and then I got this offer for this movie that was a lot different in tone. It's like softer. It was sweeter. It was a, it was a romantic comedy. But it was really well written. And I was like, oh, you know what? My mom's gonna love this one. And it was also an opportunity to work with Kate Blanchett. No, sorry. Kate, Kate hold on a second. Really neat. And it was also an opportunity to work with Kate Winslet, the great, not to be confused with any of the Kate Winslet. And I was like, wait a second, this isn't really gonna happen. Kate Winslet's not gonna do a movie with me. She's gonna go from Leonardo DiCap to Jackety McBlackety? And yes, she was. <laughs> hey. I got you the best drink in town, but I didn't know if you liked a little dollop of whipped cream or a big dollop, so I got both, and you can have each one. Well, hello, big dollop. <laughs> hey, you look great, by the way. Thanks. Really great. Thanks, I'm feeling good. I've been working out with Arthur. <laughs> what? No, I'm sure it's an awesome workout. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to picture it. <laughs> okay, well, the workouts are not that great with the conversation. <laughs> Stop laughing. I was the big winner there, because just getting to be in a movie with her, and cameras are rolling, and I'm looking across at one of the best actors living, and in her eyes are the reality of the character, and she's just like a pro on another level. So I learned a lot just from like doing scenes with her and watching her and how committed she was and how real she was. I mean, that's not really something you can learn. You can't learn to be charismatic like that. You gotta be born with it. But just her level of commitment was infectious, and I felt like I, I picked up a lot of, uh, a lot of that energy, you know.